Right, so I've tried a lot of automatic villager breeder tutorials online and um, there's just one mechanic that they didn't mention that makes it very impractical to use in that you actually have to move the baby villagers at least 120 blocks away sideways or vertically from the breeder farm in order for them to produce more than uh, one or two new villagers. So it's very impractical. So I developed my own solution and well, uh, just watch the video and I'll guide you guys through it. My name is Masro. Don't forget to subscribe if you want, of course. This is basically the design that's on uh, that's most popular on YouTube right now. And it involves a setup where you have two breeders who are fed by this villager and they're lying on these. Uh, they're going to occupy these beds and the baby will spawn and be transported down here. Now, the issue with this is that the baby villager will actually occupy one of the beds and when they occupy one of the beds that means we have the farmer who's trying to occupy one these two are occupying number two and three and the baby villager will occupy the fourth in which case these two won't breed breed anymore they just won't uh, the only way to make them start breeding again is to tell to transport the villagers uh, the new villagers quite far away now i tried at first until here but it didn't work they still wouldn't breed so I tried again until here, same same thing. And then I tried all the way here. And this is the point when they actually started breeding. This is, this is far away. This is really far away. And the other issue is that these folks here, they're not going to rebreed as well. Whereas the system that we have laid out over there, um, it's going to be exponential. Every time you have new villagers, they'll breed amongst each other and things will go even faster. So an alternative to doing this setup here where you transport it uh, horizontally around 120 to 140 blocks is to, is to do it vertically, which works as well, but I mean, check this out. Like, literally, how, how high is that? Still going up? Oh man, it's getting me dizzy. It's a long way up. Imagine having to transport your first villagers up here and if something happens to them. This is a long way up. I mean, look at that. Each baby villager will have to endure this uh, Tower of Terror drop in which we save with a pile of water, but yeah, it's it's just unpractical, uh, in my opinion at least. I mean, it looks, it looks really cool though, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I just think this is way, way more practical. Alrighty, so we're back at the survival world and we're gonna make our villager breeder over here. So it's kind of convenient that I have the villagers quite close to my breeder, so it won't be too difficult to set up later. So we'll just close these doors first and let's head to the site. Alrighty, let's start with the materials that we're gonna need for this build. So as for redstone, we're gonna need one comparator, two observers, one sticky piston, and one dispenser. We'll also need one minecart with hopper, one rail, and three hoppers. For our non-redstone material, you'll basically just need a lot of building blocks of your choice, and you'll need one composter as well as two water buckets. You'll need some form of lighting as well. And finally, you'll need 35 beds. And finally, you might need a boat to transport your villagers or whatever method you prefer. Okay, so let's start with the foundation. We'll need it seven blocks wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 19 blocks long as such. And you'll wanna raise the corner pillars six blocks high like so. So we're gonna do one two three four five six over here and we're gonna do the same on this corner so that's one two three four five six and final corner one two three four five six so we'll have a shape like this and then we'll want to make a second floor and it'll be on the third block so extending over here we'll just keep building to the back okay and just go all the way around the building Okay, so here we have the basic shape of the structure. The beds will be on the bottom floor. We'll be setting up the food dispenser on the corner and we'll be setting up the villagers up top. So I'll show you everything step by step. All right, so the food dispenser will actually be pretty noisy. That's why I want to set it up in the back over here. Okay, now for the fun bit, we're going to set up our redstone dispenser machine in the corner over here. It's only going to take up three blocks. So we'll put our sticky piston in the back like so facing upwards like that and then we'll just place some slabs temporarily over here it can be a full block as well it doesn't matter so in you'll also want an observer up here put it uh, place it from behind so that it faces towards 
that direction so the face goes towards here and then you'll want to put your comparator and you'll want it to go that direction and finally you'll want your uh, dispenser over here you'll want it to face us like so and then lastly you'll want another observer up here uh, facing the op opposite direction of this observer so we're gonna achieve this by putting a slab on top of this and then we'll put the observer like so and then we'll remove that slab and our machine is basically done so we're gonna try and chug some bread in to see if it works great marvelous okay that's all we need it's, 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 it's gonna be a bit noisy but yeah i mean that's just how it is okay brief summary of the machine you have a sticky piston facing upwards and then an observer facing towards the front of the machine a comparator facing towards the back and then you also have another observer up here facing towards the back and finally the dispenser faces frontwards now that we have our machine beautifully set up we'll want to set up the hoppers so basically later on we're gonna have our villager stand over here one villager stands here and we'll have the minecart with hopper in the middle to intercept any food given by our farmer villager so basically this is where the magic happens this middle block right here so we'll start off by setting up our hoppers we'll want to do that by putting one hopper into the dispenser our second hopper to our first one and our third hopper should attach to our second hopper like so so you can see this one's facing down and this one is facing down as well while this one is facing towards that one beautiful so let's lay down our beds put all your beds on one side like so all the way up till the edge and do the same on the other side except that you'll have a slightly different layout on this side just because well there's that machine in the corner uh, to be honest, there's more efficient ways to lay uh, down these beds. Maybe you can even put them on the aisles, but personally, I just don't like the way that looks. So I'm just going to stick with, well, this. I'm just, I'm just going to stick with this, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks, uh, sort of L shape, and yeah, I'm fine with that. So, I mean, do this however way you want try and squish as many beds as you want in fact maybe you can even build an underground space with even more beds i haven't tested that out and well i just i don't need that many villagers anyway so uh, this works just fine for me for the next step let's go fill up the entire second floor with soil except for these six blocks so this two by three we don't want to fill up just yet so we'll start over here and we'll fill it in this way and fill in everything else now climb to the second floor and you'll want to count eight blocks from here and that's where your main water source will be so that's one two three four five six seven eight and we'll destroy this block and this is where we'll be putting our water source now we can just put some in now it's 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 going to be a bit messy underneath to clean up this mess we'll simply put a trap door over on this side here wait over on this side here and that should stop the water from flowing now it'll actually look really good if you can put iron trap doors all the way underneath but that's a bit expensive so we'll stick with this birch okay that's all walled up let's go fill in the sides with glass so we do need a way to put the villagers in later so i'm gonna leave um this middle block empty for now and in fact i'm just gonna cut a hole through it just to make life easier for me later on okay back to the second floor we're gonna want to put our composter up over here but we might want to wait till we get our villager before we actually do that so we're gonna replace this block of quartz and we're gonna place a stair slab here and then we're gonna fill it with some water like so do the same on this side place a temporary block here and here and you can place your chiseled stairs like so and fill it in with some water okay, so i do plan to get the villagers in here before we uh, do anything with the soil i think it would be easier that way so to complete the steps what we'll want to do here is just put some glass blocks here so we can see the villagers in action later on and we'll want to cover the sides with um, glass as well 
before we bring in the villagers, I think it might be a good idea to just build up a bit of a staircase. The villagers will be able to follow you up there. Uh, I'll show you a simple trick on how to do that later and also it just makes my life a lot easier. So before we want to uh, bring the villagers in, there's one tricky part that we want to do first and it's probably best that we do this now instead of later. So that villager will be standing here in the corner and this will be the minecart with hopper uh, blocks. So we're gonna want to extend this part two blocks high and later we'll be trapping our villager in that corner there so this is what we want to achieve this is exactly how we want it to look but there's a little trickery behind it and i'll show you real quick so here's what you do place one slab at the bottom like so and place another slab up top like so go up and then place your rail over here and then place your minecart with hopper like so Grab your pickaxe, uh, destroy that slab up top, let everything fall down, and then place a trapdoor up there. And you should be set. So all we need to do now is lure a villager in up here, trap him in the corner, and then have another villager in the middle area here. So let's go do that now. The most fun part. I hate this part. I'm going to use the boat. So, all right, in you go. This totally makes sense. Love it uh obviously not very good at this so i'm just gonna have to make that a little bit wider okay so we have one villager in i would have preferred to have a villager without a profession but that will do great okay okay now we're gonna try the crafting um the profession trick he's now a cartographer and if we break this he's no longer a cartographer but if I place this up top, would he be inclined to actually... Well, okay, he is a cartographer now, and if we destroy this, let's see if he path, path finds his way up. Yes, he does. That is working quite perfectly. In you go, in you go, come on. In you go, in you go. And just a little bit further. In you go, in you go. And great, stay there for now. I'll be back. You know what? I decided to just go trap this one in the corner first. It's... uh. It's probably easier that way so i'm going to destroy this block and here's a trick we're going to go to the corner and we're going to place that cartography table um up here up here yeah that would be good um let's see if that works and if it does we're just gonna trap him in this corner st straight away and that worked wonders now before you break this you'll want to probably um put some temporary blocks up top just so that he, he doesn't jump over uh this side because they might just do that while pathfinding so now we'll destroy that and we'll put glass on that layer and we're golden we have that villager trapped in the corner and now let's grab our final villager for up here so now that they're both inside well we should probably block this off first um i do need a way to get out, to get out later but i think i can figure that out so yeah off you go so we're gonna get them out of the boats and then we're gonna place the beds that we're missing okay so final bit let's go up here and place that block here and yep he still detected it and okay up you go you're gonna be stuck there for a very long time my friend okay up you go up you go inside 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 all right you're gonna be stuck there basically forever um well i mean minecraft can be pretty mean so we are gonna put the composter up here we can of course put a trapdoor as well f for aesthetics um i didn't mean to put my shovel in there but okay um trapdoor here there should still be water inside okay that's great just for aesthetics of course and then we'll put um can i put all right okay i've put the composter on top of that and we'll probably want to put a piece of glass there so that the villager whoops doesn't do that and jump out okay all right anyway get get back down here when you can so next step guys um use your hoe and start tilling all the soil so you can either give them carrot or potato I'm gonna be using carrots over there and I do have my stock here so why do we want to put a roof on this well 
Yeah, if it rains and if thunder strikes on one of your villagers, you'll be a very sad person. If you have to go through the process of getting your villagers back in, that's very annoying. So let's just close this off real quick. Okay, the roof is done and now we just gotta plant our carrots right here. Okay, moment of truth, guys. As long as this guy gives his excess um, carrots to that other guy, we're golden. This process is basically done. So let's have a look. So he took quite a few. Let's see, is he, is he gonna give it? Nope, not yet, no. Maybe he doesn't have enough. We'll give him even more. Um, he's still being very stingy though, to be honest. So we're giving him another stack of carrots. Okay, another stack maybe? Damn, th this guy. Very high maintenance. All right, there's another stack of carrots for you, sir. In case you don't know, they actually need to have a full stack of inventory before they'll actually be willing to give the carrots. So, or the food or whatever that may be. So maybe his inventory is not full yet. So we'll need to coerce him just a little bit more. Oh, 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 there it is, beautiful, first batch, great, you can see that, right? So the villagers down there are getting food, and they will probably soon breed. So, oh, oh, they're making babies downstairs, I gotta have a look at this. So I'm gonna quickly get, okay, that, um, oh man, that's not, that's not good, that's not good. Yep, they're making babies, but I gotta quickly seal this off, okay, first baby great okay so it is working same as on our test world so we finally have a working infinite villager breeding farm on the uh, on the survival world um yeah you can probably tell i sounded quite happy and if this has been helpful guys it would be great if you guys could smash that like button now one last thing that i did forget to put in is some lights so i'm gonna do that real quick off camera so I decided to redecorate the interior a little bit and it's looking so much better. Um, blue lights everywhere. I love it. I love it. And it's just, I feel like it's a better working environment for our permanent um, farmer. And um, well, this guy just doesn't do anything. He doesn't even eat. So I, I feel bad for you, bro. But, 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 but I have some good news. Check out the progress that we've been having while the farm, uh, while I've been redecorating. Look at how many villagers I have already. This is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This village breeder is really working great. It's it's working wonders, to be honest. So I'm really happy about uh, this build. It's been inspired by a lot of other YouTubers. So if you like the video, guys, uh, do share with your friends. Do drop that like. Um, it would be so great if you can subscribe. If you're in my situation where you actually already have all the beds filled, like so, uh, I have exactly 35 villagers in there. Um, well, they're not going to produce any more babies. And they're just going to consume the food and it's all going to go to waste. So there's a few things you can do. Now, for one, you can actually expand the bottom floor to the sides uh left side right side front back it doesn't matter or you can even build underneath uh, i don't know if that works underneath parts so i i i'd probably stick with sideways building and add more beds you can probably add up to uh, a total of 98 beds including your original 35 or maybe 100 i'm not sure if it's 98 or 100 i just know that there's a 100 villager cap uh, within one area and maybe i do believe the two villagers up top do count towards that as well so 98 beds i think would be the safe amount or you can just uh, move them out and they'll start reproducing again uh, as so long as you actually leave two inside now the alternative um well on top of that what you can do as well is you can actually turn this into an automatic food farm what you can do uh, is you can intercept this hopper here you can break that one and you can put a chest instead over there so we'll simply break this uh break that as well and grab yourself a chest i, I do not have one place a chest over here uh, sideways would actually be kind of nice, but I mean that works as well. Uh, yeah, so you have access to your chest from here. I mean, if you wanna, you can always design this any way you want. I know this is not the most elegant design. I mean, we do have an open glass panel there, but just for example's sake, later on the extra food thrown down uh, to the, this minecart hopper will go to that hopper, that hopper, and finally to that chest, and you'll eventually you'll fill this up with carrots. Now. I need to mention that you actually can't use bread for this. You can't use a wheat farm. I already tried that for some reason. 
uh, they just wouldn't produce the bread. I have no idea why, but feel free to test yourself. You can also use beetroot, but uh, I feel that carrot and uh, potato is more efficient and it's just more useful in the long run. So, all right, uh, I guess that does it for this video, guys. Thanks for sticking around for that long. Uh, it would be great to see you guys in the comments sec section once again. Um, well, I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to take a break now. That was really tiring. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by again, guys. Masbro signing out.